Day 61 in the war with Hamas in Gaza, an IDF chief, Herzl Levy, says the operation has moved into Phase 3. IDF troops are fighting simultaneously in the center of Khan Yunus in the south and overran Hamas headquarters in Jabalia in the north. The IDF pushed deeper into Jabalia in northern Gaza with the 551st Reserve Brigade and the Navy's Shayetet 13 Commando Unit raiding Hamas General Security Headquarters. IDF tanks pushed ahead, expanding its ground offensive into Khan Yunus, where it believes much of the Hamas leadership is hiding. The IDF chief said that the ongoing battles on the ground are the heaviest since the start of the war 61 days ago. A barrage of rockets was fired into Israel from Gaza, causing damage in Tel Aviv and Ashkelon. Air raid sirens blared warning of an incoming barrage of 15 rockets launched by Hamas terrorists, causing damages in Tel Aviv. A few direct hits were reported, with shrapnel hitting a school, a main street, and the beach. One man reportedly sustained moderate injuries. Closer to Gaza, a terrorist rocket struck a residential building in Ashkelon. Two older women were lightly wounded by shrapnel and were taken to a nearby hospital. In the north, Hezbollah continued its provocations with rocket fire into Israel. Air raid sirens sounded in numerous communities along Israel's northern border, including the city of Kiryat Shmona. No injuries were reported. In a separate incident, a hostile drone that entered Israeli airspace from Lebanon crashed near Moshav Margaliot. IDF forces converged on the site to recover the UAV, and sappers are examining the device. Air Force fighters retaliated by hitting Hezbollah assets, the strikes targeted observation posts, weapons depots, and other sites. The IDF expressed regret for killing a Lebanese soldier while striking a Hezbollah-linked target. This was the first such death of a Lebanese soldier since cross-border hostilities began in October. Experience the power of truth with ILTV News. If you're looking for quality content and captivating visuals, join our news community and become an integral part of our team as we embark on a mission to unveil the real Israel, dismantling the web of lies and misinformation that surround reporting on Israel. By subscribing to ILTV News, you will not only have access to the latest updates, but you will also amplify our message, creating a ripple effect that carries the truth far and wide. Subscribe today and help reshape the narrative. Available on the web, Android, and Apple.